Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Friday, August 6, 2010. Here are today's top stories. Well, Rosie O'Donnell returns to daytime television exclusively on OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network, as she helms a new daily talk show slated to premiere in 2011. The one-hour program will be based in New York. Mary Hart, the longtime host of Entertainment Tonight, declared yesterday the upcoming 30th season of the syndicated show would be her last. Hart began on E.T. back in 82, and officially there has been no announcement as to who will replace her as host of the magazine show, but it has been reported Lara Spencer, anchor on The Insiders, may be considered. Next Tuesday, Oxygen debuts a new competition series, Hair Battle Spectacular, starting at 10 p.m. Hosted by Brooke Burns, the series follows 10 top stylists as they compete to see who can outdo with the best over-the-top fantasy hair design. The show is on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. And CNBC premieres the new docuseries, CNBC Bizography, beginning next Wednesday at 9 p.m., profiling top business icons and companies with narrator J.K. Simmons, the opening episode highlighting businessman and boxing legend George Foreman, Bizography premieres on August 11th at 10 p.m. And Adult Swim is expanding its original live-action comedy show, Delocated, from a 15-minute format to a half-hour episodes for its new second season, opening on August 22nd at 10 p.m. And Fox announced officially Nigel Lithgow is back as executive producer of American Idol for the show's 10th season, premiering next January. Citizen Skull Productions and The Monkey Goes are developing a new reality series featuring Al Sharpton and some of his family members in The Other Sharptons. Veteran actress Joanna Cassidy landed a role on ABC's new drama series, Body of Proof, per TV Guide. Cassidy will play mom to Dana Delaney's Body of Proof, launches September 24th at 9 p.m. And NBC has announced... They've pulled Breakthrough with Tony Robbins after a disappointing debut last week and scoring a 0.7 in its targeted adult demo this week, according to Live Feed. NBC stated that it will run repeats of Minute to Win It in its time slot. Hi, I'm John Cox, and Fox has a new summer series called The Good Guys, starring Bradley Whitford and Colin Hanks, and created by Matt Nix, the man who brought us the great show, Burn Notice. Colin Hanks, who looks a little bit like his dad and a little bit like Tim McGee on NCIS, is a straightforward by-the-book detective named Jack Bailey. Mr. Whitford's character is a little bit more complicated. Detective Dan Stark would fit in very nicely with the cast of Ron Burgundy, Anchorman. He lives off his reputation and he is an unconventional yet effective policeman. He values only four things in life, getting the bad guys, hooking up with the ladies, his Trans Am Camaro, and his mustache. Detective Dan Stark says things to ladies he ought to get slapped for, but not only does he not get slapped, very often his cringeworthy pickup lines work. The two main characters work very well together and the show, although sometimes nonsensical, is very fast-paced and funny. The supporting cast is great, so if you're looking for a show with a lot of action that will make you laugh, you can't go wrong with the good guys on Fox. I'm John Cox and that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. On that note, that's a wrap for this Friday. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and be sure to check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Ponick. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.